Hi all, it's Lucy from Square One. I have Sol with me today and we're going to be taking you through a quick little 15 minute ab burner um, workout, Pilates style workout. Um, so we're going to start with Sol lying on her back on a mat. Uh, you don't need any equipment to participate in this um, workout today. So we're just a mat yourself, maybe a towel to support your head if you feel like you need it. So Sol's lying on her back with her feet bent up and we're going to start with some pelvic tilts. So she's rocking her um, pelvis forward and then sliding her tailbone under to rock backwards. So the very start of all of our Pilates movements and just a moment for you to start to become aware of where your back is, how you're feeling today, if there's any sticky points um, and start to connect with your breathing as well. So breathing out as you rock back and then breathing in as you release. So in this position, what you should be feeling is just a change in how your lower back feels against the mat as you rock your pelvis um, backwards and tuck your tailbone under, you will flatten your lower back against the mat and then as you release and rock forwards, there'll be a little bit of a gap there. Just go as far as you feel comfortable at the moment. Good, so two more like that. Now, Sol's gonna come into her neutral pelvis position where there's a small gap. Some people like to imagine a little blueberry under there. And throughout these next few exercises, you don't wanna squish that blueberry or let it roll away. And that just means that you're gonna stay really nice and steady through your pelvis and not change that position. We're gonna come into a single leg tabletop. So right knee floats up to 90 degrees and then floats back down. Good, left knee just above your hip and 90 degrees at the knee and then floating back down. So this is our base level exercise here. If anything gets a little bit too hard for you over the next few steps, you can always come back to this exercise. It's just a really nice early activation of your tummy muscles and a bit of pelvic awareness as well. Good. One more each side. Now, from here, the next step is to lift both legs up to tabletop. Good, and then we're just gonna do some single leg taps. So tapping one foot down to the ground and then back up and then the other. So alternating here, what you can't quite appreciate is that Sol's really working her breath as she moves through these movements. So as one leg lowers, she's breathing out and then back in and then waiting for the next breath out to lower her other leg. Good. One more each side. And if Sol's happy to stay here, she's gonna demonstrate how to make this a little bit harder. So she's gonna reach her right leg a little bit lower and longer to reach up and then back in. Good, left leg lower and longer, good. If you feel like this is a little bit too hard, you get any sort of niggle in your back, go back to the level before. So your regression is just to tap your feet really nice and close. The, the longer and lower you lower your legs, the harder this is gonna be on your pelvic control. Good, one more each side. All right, okay to stay here, good. Next level is arms go up to the ceiling. And we call this a dead bug because you look like a cockroach stuck on its back. So as Sol lowers her right leg, she's also gonna let her left arm reach for the other side of the room, and then she's gonna come back to her starting position. Breathing out as she reaches the other side, down and slowly back in. in at, as we involve the arms, it gets a little bit harder to control your trunk. So what we wanna see is that your ribs stay really nice and steady here, and that's the challenge on your tummy control. So you should be feeling a little bit of work in your tummy, perhaps a good shake at this stage. Nice, and we'll go for two more each side. Lovely. Again, the lower you lower your foot 
and your arm, the harder this is going to be. And coming down for a little rest. Good. Just rocking your knees side to side there. Feel a nice little massage on your lower back. Decompress. All right, so from here, we're gonna work on the other end. So Sol's gonna interlace her hands behind her head. Elbows are nice and wide, a bit of space between your shoulder blades there. She's going to tuck her chin and come into a gentle chest lift and then rolling back down. So we're getting sort of up the other end. Like we did with the pelvic tilt, you should feel a little bit of a gentle peeling off of your vertebrae from the base of your neck down to the middle of your shoulder blades here and then reversing that back down. Trying to engage a little bit through the bottom of your ribs as you crunch up and then slowly back down. Good. So this is your base level here with the hand support for your neck so that you can gently press your head into your hands. So I was going to demonstrate the next level, which is involving a chest lift with your legs up in tabletop. So for a little bit more of a challenge, decrease your base, base of support, lift your legs up to tabletop and continue on your chest lift here. If this is too tricky for you, as always the regression is to pop your feet back down on the floor and continue your chest lift where we began. Lovely. Starting to feel those tummy muscles work? Yes. <laughs> Good. All right, two more like this. All right, now from here, we're gonna work on our bicycle kick. So coming into your chest lift and then alternating your legs, swimming down, down. Yeah, lovely. So Sol's doing a great job of reaching really nice and long and maintaining her height off the floor there. If this is too hard for you, then you can just lower your head back down and do your bicycle kicks without the chest lift. If you really want this nice burner, then you're gonna carry on for four, three, two, and one, lower back down, good. So mini break here, knees come to chest for a little bit of a massage and opening up through the back of your um, lumbar spine, back of your hips there for a gentle decompression. All right, so we have one more in this position, which is your crisscrosses. So coming up into your chest lift and legs up to tabletop and working on a side crunch and then the other way. So as you crunch your right elbow to your left knee, the other leg is reaching out really nice and long. Good. If this is a level too high for you, your regression is to do your crisscrosses with your legs down. Just show us a couple there. So if this feels more comfortable for you. You'll still get some really nice activation through your obliques here, and you'll still really be working those tummy muscles. If you think you can manage it, then stay up in your tabletop with the single leg reach. Good. Four more there. Four. <laughs> so I was just delighting in this 15 minute workout. Good. And one lovely and then coming back down nice okay so from here we're going to come into our long sitting position so coming up legs along your mat um, actually excuse me not long sitting but sitting with your knees bent <laughs> feet on the floor okay so we're going to work on some gentle roll downs here. Now with the roll downs, what you want to do is make sure you initiate the movement still from your pelvis. So in your starting positions, you should be sitting right up on top of your sit bones 
and then what you're going to do from here is tuck your tailbone under and start to roll down towards the floor, really scooping through your tummy and then rolling back up and sitting up nice and tall back onto your sit bones. So depending on your tummy strength here and how you're feeling with this, will um, determine how low you can go. So we're just demonstrating a half roll down here and then rolling back up. So I was doing a nice job at keeping really nice and long through her neck here and allowing her shoulders to stay relaxed and then rolling back up. Now, next level from here, as you roll down, Sol's gonna demonstrate twisting one way and then back to the middle and twisting the other way, arms long and then rolling back up. Good. So again, involving a little bit of rotation, a little bit of more oblique work and then rolling back up. If you find that this is still, you wanna work a tiny bit harder, next level is to straighten your legs out, but most people will stay in this position with their knees bent. Rolling back up, good. Let's go three more here. Lovely, and don't forget about your breath at this point. So breathing out and then breathing regularly as you move from side to side, rolling back up, good, two more. Last one, almost there. And rolling back up, nice. Good, nice deep breath. And we're gonna come into some lovely stretches to finish off. So, Sol's gonna roll onto her tummy to show us a cobra stretch. So, lying on your tummy, hands up by your, by your head, pushing down through your hands, Hips stay on the mat for a nice stretch through your abdominals, which you've just um, given some love. Nice deep breathing there. Good, and rolling back down. We'll do another cobra stretch here, one more. So rolling up. Good, nice deep breath, opening up through the front of your chest. Good, and rolling back down, and then from here into our child's pose. So pushing up through your hands, rocking back onto your knees, sinking your bottom onto your heels, feeling a nice opening up through here, breathing into the back of your lungs. Let your head go heavy onto the mat. Take a few nice deep breaths here. And then when you're ready, coming into standing and finishing with a gentle roll down. So hands on the front of your legs, sink your chin to your chest, sternum to your mid back, scooping in through your tummy. So sucking your belly button into your spine. Knees can soften at this point. Head is hanging really nice and heavy. Just go as far as you feel you can manage. Nice deep breath at the bottom. Pushing through your heels. Sick, um, sucking your belly button into your spine and starting to restack back up head stays heavy right to the end arms are heavy shoulders roll back and head stacks right on top and a nice deep breath and you're done thanks for joining us for the quick little 15 minute ab workout i hope you enjoyed it